Hi, my name is Shelley Hill. I'm the pre-sales technical consultant at Identity Experts. Today, I'm going to be talking about discovering your organization's identity maturity. So at Identity Experts, we have been doing our identity maturity assessments for a while now, uh, I think just over a year, uh, and they've had some developments lately. So we wanted to update you on the added components. Now, first of all, though, I'm going to uh, do a recap on why identities are so important and what we are looking for when we say identity maturity. So identity is the new control plane. We no longer have physical walls and boundaries to protect our assets and data. Users are accessing corporate emails or data on personal devices uh, from home now more than ever anywhere else during these times because we've been told that we must self-isolate. But even before that, we were seeing a work from anywhere culture develop. And this means that the old perimeters we use to protect our corporate data are no longer adequate. So security controls on our identities are now so important because a breached identity is a gateway to our IP and assets. So Apart from being the front line in security, the other benefits of maturing our identity posture are efficient onboarding processes, reduced IT support calls, and most importantly, we can know and control who has access to our data and resources. Now, some of the obvious things you look at when you're thinking about maturing your identities would be implementing join and move a lever automation, enabling MFA, and consolidating accounts into a single user identity. Depending on differing agendas or priorities within a business, we find that organizations have implemented some or some parts of these. Um, and while we think these are, are positive steps, uh, we need to think about identities with a far more encompassing approach to fully protect your identities and therefore your data and resources. So back to our identity maturity assessment that looks at your current identity processes and compares it to the best practice in terms of identity principles. We look at uncovering areas of risk and improvement within your organization and your capability for balancing identity security and governance. Now, apart from the categories I've already mentioned, such as automation and consolidation, we also look at B2B, that's business to business, attestation, that's your uh, recertification of, of, uh, of access to resources and group management and user experience, to name just a few. We uh, generally spend a day on site with you interviewing key people, although, of course, um, this can now be done online and we assess your environment. Uh, we then provide you with a report with an assessment of your current identity maturity and a roadmap of short, medium and long term recommendations. Now, along with these short, medium and long term recommendations, we align them with uh, NIST compliance recommendations and we provide a risk matrix that aligns the risk to the recommendations that mitigate the risk. The other thing we now provide uh, for all these recommendations is to break them into work packages that can be grouped together, showing which ones are dependent on each other and which can be done in parallel. We have found this has been really useful for customers in terms of aligning strategic goals with an implementation plan. So after we've provided you with this roadmap, we don't abandon you there. If you need us to take you on that journey, then we can be there to support you every step of the way. If you'd like to find out more, get in touch with us at Identity Experts. We'd be happy to take you on the first step in your journey to identity maturity and be the experts by your side.